I'm Tim Carter, founder of W3ATB, and I'm on some land that's right next to my house. And yesterday, the owner of the land hired a man to come and cut down some pretty big trees because uh, he's trying to, you know, improve his land and make it a little bit more friendly so he can pull his pickup truck in. And But what was really interesting uh, was how the logger got the logs you know, from down the hill up to the hill where they can be loaded onto a truck. It's a pretty steep lot. And let me show you the logs uh, that were cut up. All right, so here's all the logs. You know, and some of these, some of these are pretty big. I mean, that one right here, right in the center of the frame, you know, it's about 10 feet long. And it's a big piece of poplar. And, boy, I don't know how much that weighs. It's got to be 800 pounds or so. Some of these are a little smaller. But they all came from down here. You know, down in that area right there. And let me show you how it was done. Oh, how you doing, bud? Nice and easy. Easy. Step up. Step up, Dick. Easy. Whoa, Dick. Whoa. You went and stepped over, bud. Whoa. Whoa. Just put it on my Okay. Good boy. Step up. Get up. Easy. All right, go ahead. All right, whoa. Whoa. Good boy. Whoa. Good. 
Jacob. All right, so what do you think? Wasn't that pretty cool? Uh, so the name of the horse is Dick, and wasn't it fascinating how well the horse responded, you know, to the verbal commands of uh, Mark? That was Mark, the owner of the horse, and uh, he's got two other younger um, Belgian workhorses. Dick is uh, over 25 years old, and I mean, he took those logs up the hill <laughs> like you or I might carry, you know, a football. I mean, it didn't even look like, you know, the horse was uh, even struggling. So really, really pretty amazing. And, you know, this is time-tested technology. Uh, hundreds of years ago, this is how, you know, the forests of New England were cleared. Um, I'm sure ho draft horses like this were used to move boulders and rocks. Uh, it's really, really just kind of cool. I have to tell you, I thought it was fascinating to see it done. So I hope you enjoyed this video, and um, if you ever have a chance to be next to one of these big Belgian workhorses, uh, go, you know, go to a fair where they often have uh, pulling contests. Uh, you'll be absolutely amazed at how beautiful and, and how big the muscles are in the shoulders and legs, you know, and hindquarters of these magnificent animals. So um, I hope you enjoyed uh, watching this video as much as I enjoyed taping it. I'm Tim Carter founder of W3ATB.com.